Let me disclose this up front. Brett Primus is not only my friend, he's my teammate. So, all right, so there it is. I try to be objective, but I'm not. I'm biased. So I'm going to disclose my bias to, to, to keep the integrity of this. But when these guys fought, and I believe that Michael Chandler is the best guy under contract. I believe he's the best, most talented, toughest guy Scott Coker has under contract. And I think Rory McDonald is, is chasing him on that one. But uh, when they went out and fought, it was a big upset and Primus beat him. And it was a weird match. Uh, Chandler ends up hurting his ankle. I was in the back. I was fighting right after these guys. You know, like 20 minutes after them, and I was in the back screaming at the monitor, screaming at the referee, stop the fight, because something was happening with Chandler's ankle where it was dangling. And I, I thought it was broken. It, it, it turned out it was like a ligament issue. But the bottom line is he, he was without a foot out there, and it was dragging, and the ref didn't see it, and they finally did have to stop the contest. And so many people, because of that, thought that it was a, a bogus win by Primus, and he couldn't do it again and things like that. And you weren't left with very much evidence, but if you did rewind and watch what little of fight happened until that point, Brent Primus was doing pretty damn good. He came out there, he was pressing the pace, he was landing some kicks, he was threatening Chandler, he was daring him come in for a takedown. It didn't happen. This is quick, I, I will acknowledge that. But for the people that, that have really bad mouth Primus and put down the fact that he did the hard work, got the opportunity, walked out there, and yeah, there was some luck, but that's what dreams are made of. For, for the people that did that, I will just offer you this. If you're going to insult Primus, you've got to come at him from two sides because the, the fact that he's the world champion is, isn't the only thing you've got to take on here. You've got to also remember he's undefeated. Eight men have had a chance to beat him. Eight men have failed. So insult him all you want. Insult that championship all you want. Just know if you're going to attack him and his skills, you also have to find an explanation for why he's undefeated.